Hi everyone, it's me. I'm going to try and do a tutorial on how I make my leather covers. I've had people ask me how to do it and it's kind of hard for me to explain so I'm going to try to do my first ever tutorial on just how to make those covers. Um, I'm just going to do this little one and if you want it to be longer, which I've done on a few of mine, I just take another one of these and I just slide it in there as far as I want it and glue it down, you know, just as far as you would like it to be. And I glue it down inside and then I just glue this shut. But actually, I should tell you, if you're going to sew your signatures inside the cover, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get these in there. But anyways, like if I wanted it this big, say, I would glue that down. And I would take a piece of this Tyvek. This is just a priority mail thing envelope that I just cut down to size. And you only really need it where your spine is going to be, but I put it in there. I make it big enough for the whole envelope is what I do. And I slide that inside there as well. And I glue all that down. So I just measure it out to see how big I want it. Then I glue it all down using my fabric tack. I just, I don't glue it, put the glue on first because you don't really want a bunch of glue on the outside because then the ink won't adhere to it. It will make it look wherever your glue is, the ink won't stick. So I just squeeze it down in there, you know, drip some way down in there. And then I just glue the very edge and just glue it down. And then I flip it over and I just glue this, do the same thing to this side. And then it just becomes course as big as you want and that doesn't matter because sometimes you'll see it sometimes you won't and it doesn't really affect it any still looks cool but this one I am going to um, just make it as small as this because I'm going to make a little mini and I'll just take my glue and I'll dr drip some down in there that's how I do it because I don't want it on the outside. And sometimes I'll do it a whole bunch and sometimes I won't. As long as that tie back doesn't move around in there, then it doesn't seem to bother it any. I'll get some down on this side. And then I'm just going to glue this right over that. I just go like this. My glue is getting low, so it takes me a while. Sometimes this glue is hard to squeeze it out. And when I press this down, I try to make it to where it will not come out of there. I'm sure there's other videos out there, but this is how I do it. Okay. And that is that on that. And then I take a trusty old ink refiller. And I used vintage photo last time, but I ran out now, so I'm going to use walnut. And then I take my little distress sprayer and my trusty old anchor. And this is how I do this. Let me open this. I spray the envelope really good, not drenched, but I spray it, 
And then I just dab a whole bunch of this on there and spray it again. See how that just goes crazy everywhere? And then I just rub it around. This walnut is going to be super dark apparently, but that's okay. It will still work. And yes, my fingers get really brown. And it's messy, really messy. And then I take my dryer and I don't want to dry it on here. So I'll pause it and dry it and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough to do the other side. So I'm just going to spray this. Since this is so dark, I won't put as much on there. And then spray that. Spread it all around. And you can spray it some more. I'll put a little bit more ink on this side. And these envelopes are kind of, these are from the dollar store. Sometimes they'll get like little fuzzies on them, but they'll fall off when it's dry. And it actually see how it gets lighter when it's dry. So I'll dry this and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't really see, but sometimes there's like this little fuzz stuff that gets on it. I just brush it off. Once it's dry, it just brushes off. Walnuts uh, obviously a lot darker than vintage photo. I've not done walnut yet, but this is my first one. And yes, you get ink all over you. And I don't have any baby wipes right here, so I'm just going to leave it. And um, now, and if this isn't stuck down all the way, it will be by the time we're done mod podging. But on, on mine, I like sometimes there to be like, uh, I don't know, spots on it. It looks like it's weathered already and stuff. So you can all take this. It's just water inside here and you can just barely squeeze it and it just puts like, see those drips on there? And then when you dry it, it looks watermarkish, kind of makes it look older. And I'll do that to the side and then I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but... I'll dry this and then come right back and show you what it looks like. Okay. I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well, but it kind of puts some spots, spots on it and makes it look waterish. And you can do it as much as you want or as little as you want or not at all. But that's just what I do. And then I take this is the Maj Paj that I use, or Collage Paj is what it is. I use this on the outside of my covers because it's not as shiny as Maj Paj matte. Maj Paj matte is still too shiny for me, so I use this. And I just use my, my um, paintbrush. I'm trying to get the pink out of it. I'm doing a, um, a journal for breast cancer awareness. And it's right here, actually. And I did it leathery, only pinkish, and used this other stuff on the outside. But anyway, that's another video. Okay, now all I do is I just take this. I'm such a messy crafter. I'm trying to not get it all over the place. And I just squirt some on there. Get this stuff out of my way. And I take my brush and 
It looks like it will be green and all really weird looking, but it, trust me, it's not green. And I just spread it all around and I put quite a bit on there. Sometimes I'll put two layers if I feel it needs it. And I just watched a video, I can't remember who did it, but she showed how you didn't, how you can get no lines in your cover once you Maj Posh. But I haven't quite done that yet, and I don't really see a lot of lines in mine when it's dry after using this anyway, so I just used that. And I'll be right back after I dry it and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and did both sides while well, I was off camera because it's, I'm sure you didn't want to watch me Maj Paj or whatever, but touching my other journal has sparkles on it, so now I have some sparkles on here that I didn't really plan on, but it'll be okay. But see, it's just so, it's just like leather. It's just amazing how that turns out. It's totally crazy. And then my next step would be to take my Perfect Pearl Mist and this is the gold one. This one's almost gone. I had another one in there, but I take this and you shake it really good. Sorry about the noise. But you have to shake it otherwise you're only just getting like water. You won't get what you really want. But if you can see how that almost looks like my couch. It just looks like real leather. It feels like it too. It's amazing. And sometimes I'll put two coats of Maj Paj or Collage Paj on just, just because I think it makes it even sturdier, I guess. But then you take this and I just, you don't even have to take this. This is just what I do. And it just kind of gives it a a gold kind of look to it and then the more you dry it the more goldish it will look let me dry it and I'll be right back okay this one has a lot of it on there I think because it's getting down to the bottom that it has a little more gold in it the closer to the bottom because I guess I didn't shake it up enough every other time I've used it but like on this one, it just has a really light, light mist on it, on this one. And then this one is just a little heavier look of heavier spray on it. And then this one is even heavier. So I guess if I sprayed it further away, it wouldn't get as much on there either. But you don't have to even do this part. You can just leave it, you know, normal or the plain way because it's just as gorgeous that way as it is this way. And then you just, at this point, I would let this dry overnight and then I would do my sewing around the edge because it's kind of tacky for quite a while. So I just let it dry overnight before I sew it so it doesn't mess up my sew machine. But yeah, that's how I do it, ladies, and hope this helps you out. Um, hope I did a good enough job for y'all, because I've never done a tutorial before. And um, yes, have fun creating. Do You could do it with paints, you can do it with any old things, but these are the items I used to do mine with. And the collage page. Can't get that in there. But yeah. Happy crafting. And I will see y'all soon. I have another video uploading now. But as I said, my internet's really slow. And takes a day for it to even get on there. So, okay. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.